So far, we have uh, no standard treatment, typical treatment for the peripheral T cell lymphoma in the world, because uh, the experience, the treatment experience, are quite limited. The anthracycline-based treatment for peripheral T cell lymphoma uh, is uh, poor. The long-term outcome is uh, poor. In China right now, we use a uh, chop, chop E, and the EPOC, something like that. We also uh, give a, a autoc transplant as a consideration, try to improve the outcome. For the typical T cell lymphoma, NK T cell lymphoma is related to the EBV virus infection. The treatment is different from the other uh, preferred T cell lymphoma. Uh, so far, uh, it's a smile and uh, espermatis. Uh, yes, it's the uh, uh, most important one. But I think these two major uh, regiments is uh, has have a significant toxicity. Also, the, in China, there is a, their inconvenience to detect, to monitor the serum concentrations of uh, methyl chesed. So, in China, we try to uh, produce to set up a new regiment. For example, the PGMOS. We use a peculated uh, LSP combined with GMOS and osteoplatin, we call PGMOS, to treat it, our patient. We found these uh, regimens are quite effective, uh, less toxic, and more convenient. It also can be used in our patient clinic. So all these treatments uh, right now is uh, available in, in China. Or we also use the uh, autoco transplant as a consultation for NKT cell lymphoma. I think uh, nowadays NCN guideline and SMO guideline is quite popular in China. I think our treatment options are quite similar to, to that in the United States.